Brian here again coming at you today with a video of a new shipment I just got in um, ordered some uh, crystal red shrimp for this little 20 long shrimp tank that I've been calling a shrimp tank forever under my discus tank here and I haven't really gotten around to stocking it with CRS yet um, had some red cherries in there and a couple CRS a while back a few months ago and um, I didn't have the water parameters real good and I was injecting CO2 in there so they didn't last but anyway so I got these in today um, so far it looks like they survived the cold Minnesota weather we got going on right now um, I can see them these are SS grade and they look nice um, I don't know if you can see them through the plastic there or not try to zoom in on a couple I don't see any DOAs in here they're all clinging to the uh, to the moss in there. I got 15 of them in here. They're supposed to be um, sub adults to adults, 50 50 ratio of male and female. So um, hopefully that's what I got. Um, just go ahead and float them in here for now. Should have been more prepared and taken this little cover off, but. So I will give them a float and then I'll come back and uh, show you guys uh, once I've got them released. Water is a little cold in the bag. There was a 72 hour heat pack in here that um, is, it's not cold but it's, I wouldn't say it's warm anymore. Um, but it took a day longer than it was supposed to to get here. and. Uh, as of yesterday, the tracking number said it was still out in California, though, but I don't necessarily believe that. I think it has been in Minnesota for a day now, but whatever. Um, so anyway, um, I'll let you guys uh, take a look once we release them into the water. Okay, so uh, the bag's been floating, got the temperature acclimated, and I also acclimated the water. I've been kind of adding in tank water. Um, can see the shrimp a little bit better in this shot but you know I was supposed to get um, sub adult adult to adult and there's only one true adult in there and there's some that are close so yeah whatever I guess it is what it is when you order online but um, I'm gonna go ahead and release them now see if I can do this while holding the camera and dealing with what I've got here Pretty nice SS grade. This one's just sticking with the moss there. Pretty cool. I know these uh, smaller ornamental dwarf shrimp, whatever you want to call them, aren't for everybody, but uh, I think they're really cool and they're fun to, to breed too. If I can get these to breed, I've had success breeding my um, red cherries. So yeah, we'll see how these guys go. If you haven't watched my um, video on when I set this tank up months ago using the ADA aqua soil, which is said to be really good for shrimps as far as uh, helping the water parameters. I'm using RO water and I'm looking into any type of a good uh, you know, chemical treatment or chemical uh, buffer supplement, whatever you want to call it, that, that's good to add when you're keeping shrimp so if anybody's got uh, ideas on that let me know 
and uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing these guys uh, grow, and I'll definitely be adding more to the mix here too as things progress. Hoping that we get them to breed. Um, may not happen right away because, like I say, I've only got the one adult. I'm not sure how to sex CRS yet, so I'm going to have to do some research on that to tell which are females and which are males. So, anyway, I'm going to have to take the rainbows out of here now so that these buggers don't get eaten. And this will be a shrimp only tank. Alright, so I just wanted to get one last clip now. It's been two or three hours since I've had the shrimp freely swimming in the tank. I've removed the rainbows and um, they're really starting to color up nicely now, get back to their normal color. Um, when they come out of the bag from shipping, they're not always, you know, perfectly colored up. But a bunch of them have been hanging out on this rock or petrified driftwood here. Um, some of them took off now, but I, there's three of them on there. You can see two on top there. And uh, one of them's down here. What I had done is uh, just a few minutes ago, I put in some uh, some Southern Delight. Um, I took uh, the Veggie Krill, and you know, most Southern Delight pellets are a mixture of two pellets. Um, so what I did is I took, I separated out a few of the, oh, sorry you can't really see this, but a few of the algae bites, and I put them down here. And this guy was munching on him a few minutes ago. He's backed off a little now. Um, this is one of the real small peewees that I got. Oh, he's heading back for some more, it looks like. I figured, you know, um, in the past I've fed shrimp um, algae wafers, so separating out some of the algae bites out of the... Um, out of the veggie krill would be the perfect idea and uh, so far one of them likes it and I'm sure the rest will make it over there oh, there's one of the one more back on that piece of wood um, like I said when I unpackaged I got 15 all together you know most of them are off hiding now oh, there's another one funny thing is is uh, with these shrimp the longer you sit and look in the tank you keep finding you know, one here, one there, whatever. I'd like to find that big adult and see kind of how that one turned out. As far as uh, when, when they get their colors back, you know. He's taking off to go back with his buddies here now, too. But anyway, guys, I won't keep this uh, video going any longer here. But as always, thanks for watching. Um, <clears throat> if you like what you see, uh, please subscribe. Um, don't forget to check out uh, Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook and all the members of Team Aquatic Support Conway, Mike, Forrest, Jeff, Sean I'll put all their links below like always check out their channels, please sub to them and uh, check out uh, The Cichlid Life on Pet World Radio and check out the Hydro Forum as well and with that Check you out later.